In celebration of Sega's 60th anniversary, Sega offered a miniature version of its famous arcade cabinet, the Sega Astro City, which was a huge success in the 90s. One of the titles that caused a big storm was Virtual Fighter. And now 30 years later, we have a miniature version. Now this miniature version has a four inch screen with six buttons, and it has 37 of the most famous Sega games. Most of these are arcade ports, and all of these games are upscaled to 720p. Now the only 3D game that they include is Virtual Fighter, and it actually runs arcade perfect. So as you can see, I am running Battle of Sarah on my Astro City Mini. The good thing about this hack is that it keeps the original files intact. And once you take out the Battle of Sarah USB stick, it will revert back to its original firmware. So I'm going to show you how to set up and install Battle Sarah. Keep in mind that the Astro City Mini isn't the most powerful device out there. So it will struggle with a lot of PS1 games, FB Neo games, and some Neo Geo games. So you are limited to only playing uh, 16-bit games mostly, as well as some older handheld games. Fortunately, MAME doesn't really run at full speed, and there will be some audio glitches here and there. So to set this up, what you need is the device itself, a USB stick uh, 3.0, I am using a 128 SanDisk 3.0 USB stick and most importantly a data USB A to micro cable and um, if you struggle to find one a PS4 uh, charging cable for your PS4 controller will work because that is a data cable. You'll notice that the cable itself is thicker than the charging cable that came with the ACM. So just make sure you have a data cable because if you don't then your PC won't be able to read the ACM. So once you've got everything that you need, uh, the next thing is to go onto your PC and click on the links down below. First of all we want to download our Battle Sarah files. So go ahead and click on this GitHub page and this is the official Battle Sarah hack for your Egret 2 Mini and also your Astro City Mini. We need to make sure that we choose the right files that we need. So scroll all the way down until you find Battle Sarah version 36 for Astro City Mini Alpha 0.1. Scroll down until you see assets and then choose ACM install. This file should only be 16.8 megabytes. Same page, scroll until you find version 36. Uh, ACM Alpha 0.2 and then go to Assets Battle Sarah Sun X16 and this should be a 998 megabyte file. This is the file that we will be installing on our USB stick. The first files were the actual ACM hack. So just download those two files and we will come back to them soon. Next you want to download Rufus. This program is used to copy all of our Battle Sarah files onto our USB stick and it will also partition our USB stick correctly. So go ahead and download Rufus and save it onto your PC. Once you've downloaded the software, open it. Choose your USB stick, make sure you um, back up everything because this will delete and format the whole USB stick. It will also format it so you don't need to prepare this USB stick. So choose your device and then click on boot selection and you want to locate where you downloaded the Battle Sarah image that was almost one gig. Once selected, keep everything on default and then we want to click start. It takes a few minutes to write onto the USB stick, so just sit tight. So once it's finished, we can actually check our USB stick to see if the files have uh, correctly installed. Go onto your Windows options and choose disk management and from here we can see that our Battle Sarah image is roughly about 3 gigs, which is fine. Stock files for Battle Sarah is relatively small. It's just the ROMs and the artwork, the splash screens and all that, that makes the files big. So as you can see here, we have uh, 111 gigabytes unallocated. Come back to this a bit later because we need to format this correctly so it can read on our Astro City and Windows as well so we can transfer all our ROMs onto that USB stick. So next just locate your um, Astro City Mini 
hack files and this is the smaller size one about 18 megabytes we need to extract that folder next we need to download the zadig usb drivers and this is drivers so our windows pc can read the astro city mini just download these and then open it and install the drivers don't worry about the um, updates this takes a few minutes to install now if the zadig drivers don't work by themselves and we also need to install the classic drivers which is located in the github page where you originally downloaded the Batocera hack files so scroll until you see window commands and from here it says you will need to have zadig drivers or the classic drivers so click on it and then just download the classic drivers folder and then install them this takes a few minutes again once the classic drivers have been installed, um, we're going to try and start the hacking process now. So revert back onto your ACM install folder, the files that we need to hack the device. And inside the folder, you will see uh, ACM backup end install.bat, ACM backup and install sh, and then the other one, the mac.sh. If you don't see the file extensions, then just click on view and then there's a check mark to say you want to show file extensions. .bat refers to our Windows um, hacking files. SH is for Linux users and Mac.sh is for Mac users. And in our case, we're using Windows, so we're gonna choose the .bat file. Before we click on it, we are going to Put our USB stick into P2 of the Astro City Mini and uh, make sure that your data cable is connected at the back. Keep the device on switch on, but don't plug in the USB A into your PC just yet. So go ahead and open the .bat file. The command prompt will kind of guide you how to hack this yourself. Uh, so click any key to continue and then make sure you connect your ACM into your PC. The hacking will then proceed and you'll see it will be downloading or extracting the files onto your ACM. It does take a while for your Batocera files to initially install, but just give it some time, let it do its own thing and it will install. The program will just close once it's finished installing. Now you can check to see if it has successfully done by just turning off the unit and then taking out the USB stick and plugging it into your PC. As you can see here, um, it's successfully installed and we have all of our Batocera files here. The first thing what we're gonna do is we're going to back up all of the original NAND files. If for whatever reason anything goes wrong and your ACM doesn't boot up anymore, you can restore this to its original state. As you can see on the GitHub page, it says to run the restore. All you need to do is click on restore.sh or .bat if you're on Windows, but you do need those backup files. So to locate this, just click on backup. And then here you can see all of our image files, the NAND image files, and just copy the entire backup folder and just save it onto your PC. Make sure you don't lose those files. The next step is to install Mini Tool Partition Wizard 3 12.8. So go ahead and install the free version. But the reason why we need this is because we need to um, change the partition where Battlesera has made the unallocated partition, what you saw earlier. We need to change that so our windows can read this as well. Because at the moment, our USB stick can only be read through a Linux system. Open up Minitool and you should see your USB stick. The share folder is, or the share partition, is where all of your ROMs, BIOS, artwork will go. As you can see here, it's currently formatted to ext4, which is not readable on a Windows PC. Right click on the share partition and we want to click format. Click on file system and then choose XFAT. This will delete everything on the share partition, so we do need to reconnect this onto our ACM. We can get all the Batocera folders back. Click OK, and then you also need to click Apply. This may take a while depending on how big your USB stick is. Once it's formatted, we need to safely eject and reinsert it into our ACM. Turn on your ACM and wait until 
it boots up to battle Sarah, shut it down and then reconnect the USB stick onto your PC. Next thing we need is a notepad plus plus. This is to edit our battle Sarah config file. So go ahead and download notepad plus plus. Reconnect your battle Sarah USB. And if you don't see the share folder, then it's most likely that Windows hasn't assigned a letter to the drive. So in order for us to be able to see our share folder on Windows, open up this management, right click on your share partition, and we want to change the letter. So now you should be able to just open up your share folder under Windows. And as you can see here, we have all your Batocera folder presets. And if you click on system, you should be able to find your batocera.config file. We need to open this, so right click and open this with Notepad++. Copy this default control text under the GitHub page. This will fix the issues with your controller setup. Scroll all the way down and just paste the text here. Save the config file. So our control should be fine because we did copy the um, default controls for Batocera on this device. You'll also notice that Batocera loads up with the orientation being wrong. So we need to rotate the screen. So once Batocera is loaded, just click start and then go onto system settings. Scroll down until you see screen rotation and we want to rotate this 90 degrees. Now we should have a fully functioning working Battle Sarah Astro City Mini. There's a few other options that we can change under the system settings, like if we want the splash screen settings, so whenever this boots up, we can change the video to display nothing or just a picture. You can also change the themes, but I currently don't have any other themes apart from this one. And also screensaver settings. I will show you how to change the screensaver settings to video previews once I've downloaded all the artwork and metadata. I will do this on the next video as this will take a while to set up. There are a couple of games here pre-installed with this Battle Sarah image, but it's just not enough. So in the next video, I'll be showing you how to transfer the BIOS files into the correct folder as well as transferring ROMs and using Screen Scraper to download all of the box art and video previews. I do need to test this out a bit more to see what this ACM is capable of. One thing I did forget to mention is that um, if you just want to revert back into the original firmware then all you have to do is switch this device off. In order to do this correctly you need to press start and then choose system shutdown and then flip the switch at the back to turn it off, remove your USB stick, turn it back on and your stock firmware should reload just like you had it originally. So there we go, there, that is how you install Batocera on your Astro City Mini. If this video has been useful then please like and subscribe and if you do have any questions about this process then please comment down below and I will try to reply to you. Um, I guess I'll see you on the next video when I put some more ROMs on this. So thanks for watching again and I'll see you next time.